Okay, here's a trade I just hopped in. Um, all right, let's see how risky. This is a really risky trade, actually. I literally just hopped into it because I saw, started to notice the price action here getting pretty ridiculous. Okay, so I literally market executed um, $30,000 worth of EOS right now. So I'm, I pay the $60 fee. So this has got to go up some pretty decent amount for me to make some profit. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put some here, like around the 005. Just in case some guy decides to end up selling it to that price range again, because you guys see some large wicks, right? So I just want to have like a, you know, just a safety, just in case they do end up, well, maybe not that much right there. This is good enough for me. I can play another 2,000, 3,000 EOS, but I'm not going to. I'm down a pretty good amount right now, I'm down four cents on each thousand. So I'm down about 40 bucks right now. Price is still getting driven down right now. It's not Bitcoin's fault. Bitcoin's pretty steady right now. Nothing is going on with it. So this is like making an ending, uh, or yeah, an ending fifth wave. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two three, four, five. Maybe, maybe we'll catch another one down, but not really too much more down. I don't think it's gonna get down that much before it starts the B correction. Or the A correction, rather. It's gaining strength. It's going to level out here. I might have caught the very, 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 very bottom of it. See here, it's still fighting here, the price action. It's fighting on the 5 minute chart at the 200 EMA right here. On the 15 minute chart, it's fighting around the 200 or the 55 EMA. But this is the one where we want a small bounce off of it and a good reaction. Yeah, this one is the one I want a reaction off of, guys. Okay, I want a really, really quick scalp here, so I can call it even. I'm already up two thousand four hundred dollars today. Pretty good amount so far. I want to go back to my video games because I'm a nerd at heart, guys. There we go. Look at that price action right there. Okay, look at that. Let's see four forty nine. Let's see what this is gonna bring it up to. Oh, look how it just jumped up like that. Okay. That just really, really ticked up there. Did you guys see that right there? Price action really, really jumped up there. I'm, I'm literally just right there. If I had sold it at forty three there, I would have been up about two hundred bucks. But I do believe that it's gonna gain strength here. But that looks like a bear flag now that I think about it. Oh no, I, I, I might have got burnt. Ninety three. 44, 40s, 50s, <laughs> shot right back down. I'm just going to put mine there just in case it does spike up there again. But that hammer on the 15, the hammer on the 5 is very convincing with that volume right there. So I'm going to take the chance and hold out a little bit. Like especially with it piercing, right? It pierces literally right below the moving average right here the 200 moving average, see that? So it looks pretty convincing that there's gonna be uh, a small uptrend, okay? So I got mine set right now at around 56. If I close at 56, that's um, a 26 cent difference at 200 coins. So that's a $520 profit. We'll see how far we can ride this going up. Make sure I get this right. I'm very, very meticulous when it comes to making sure my fib levels are right. Yeah, there's no slack work here, guys. Let's hit my fib level range already. Okay, now it's a waiting game. I'm seeing if we can drive this up right here to the 382 fib level, just for one small wave, or will it go down to the $14 range first? <laughs> Now it's just a matter of waiting for the level 2. Bitcoin's not going to do anything right now. Bitcoin's pretty boring, I'm guessing. Yeah, Bitcoin's not going to do anything for a while. If anything, it's going to trend sideways. It might even break upwards. If it breaks upwards, I'm in a pretty good long position. Yeah, that was a really nice spike up when it went up to the 45 ranges, right? I could have made a $350 profit already. Something like that. 
Nothing happening on the level 2 right now. It's at a complete standstill. This guy right here at 14365 has just put up a pretty big wall, but they're shattering through it now on the downside. About 1,000 EOS orders have just been sold. More people stacked in back at the 6,000 range right here. There's a big gap between 365 and 35 right there. Yeah, someone just sh uh, escaped. More people just stepped in now. There's now a cumulative total amount of 6,700. Yeah, it's just, it's, it just has to spike up a little bit, guys. Like, right? Just a little bit. That's honestly all that we want. Just a tiny little spike up. Yeah. I'm in a good position here. There's no need to panic. You got your position set right there. It's a very, very risky play. Risk to reward, you guys don't even want to see it. It's less than one, but high probability is what we're going after right here. Okay. Going for a super high probability play. But realistically, I probably end up taking it at 17, uh, 14,755. So let's just say we extend it up there just to be on the safe side. Risk to reward is about, is, is greater than, it's about 1.4. Something like that right now, okay. Let's look at the price action, see how this is going so far. No, it's not going good for the bulls. The bears are going to destroy the bulls right now. Look at these guys just pushing down, pushing down, pushing down, pushing down, pushing down. What's happening on the Bitcoin side? Nothing. Pushing down, 313 now, 35. Yeah, we're completely at the break-even price right here. That means that there's more, one more wave to come down. Is it going to hit around 1412? I don't want to buy more. So it's very good for me to... Um, my market executed that, so I'm down 60 bucks regardless. But let's see, see, let's just see how the price action is here, okay? 14.3, it couldn't even break above it, right? People ended up coming in to fill below. So it's not looking good for the bulls right now. So a good entry point again would be obviously like somewhere at the 382 Fib region. Or sorry, the point five, like 1326, that'd be a good entry point. See, so chip below my price already, my break price. So now I'm down. Fourteen point two eight. Two eight's getting shattered. It's not that many left. It's gonna go down another ten cents right away. Very likely that it will. See here, this is making kind of like a bearish flag, which I don't like. On the three minute chart, it looks like it wants to trend upwards, but is it? This is lower. This is higher. Yeah, it's gaining strength on the upside, even though it's coming down, right? So this has actually got a good chance to make some sort of pattern like this to break upwards, but not before we go down a little bit more, perhaps. Okay, something like that looks reasonable to assume. This is done a bullish view. Okay, that's very, very reasonable to assume, right? Comes down to about 38 RSI. We're at about 41 right now. So, right around here, I'm guessing. Yeah, crap, it is going to go down a little more. Let's see if this is even going to do anything on this crossover, or is it just a wannabe crossover? And it's not going to do anything. 15 minute, are we holding? We got a doji candle that's about to form in the next minute. But the thing about this doji candle is that it's rejecting to the upside, right? It's rejecting to the upside of the 55 EMA. So, so we say to ourselves, well, is it bullish or bearish? Lots of wicks coming down to the downside, which is kind of a, a good sign, I guess. One hour chart, 45 minutes to go. We've got ourselves a doji candle that could be very supportive for the first A leg, right? So let's just say that this ends up retracing right here now. Like, I'm not going to close my position. Like, I'm staying bullish on this, guys. Like, I'm all the way at 56 still, right? Like, I'm not closing my position. Because you guys have to take a look at it from the other perspective, right? Like this, okay? Let's say we go the one-hour chart, right? Okay? We go something like that. 
Well, if this was the retracement, which is what we're talking about, where it hit the 382 range already, well, that's most likely going to make some sort of ABC very, very high possibility. Who knows how high that can go to? And let's just say that it does make ABC. We go like a lower time frame, like a five minute chart, okay? Just as an example, where it makes ABC going upwards like that. Well, then the, this is likely to retrace an amount upwards to there. And if it does do a retracement to up there, there is a very strong chance that it could hit anywhere, say, between here's my target around the 59, right? That was my target, 57-ish, 58, 59. I've got mine at 56, actually. Um, yeah, so pretty low just to see, make sure I hit my targets. Okay. So if it goes to 56, I'll be in profit of $420, okay? So then that'll be a very reasonable thing to assume that that could happen. Then next thing that we assume is that if it does get to, say, even here, one-to-one -one is about 1320 right there, but let's say it does end up going to a high number, say, the 1494, then our next target is not going to be um, it's not going to be like $14 anymore, like over here, right? Or like $13. Here it's more like um, $13.38, say, if it was one-to-one. -one. So now we're just going to wait here to see what kind of retracement this could uh, possibly give and to look for signs of bullishness or bullish momentum going upwards. So notice how this is kind of trending like that still on the three-minute chart that we were talking about earlier. So it might go down a tiny bit more, but realistically, it's got a lot of momentum to go up. Uh, you can just um, sense it in the level 2 order book to see how the price action is going with the wicks. And the behavior just indicate that it's finding some slow level of support right now. And that this 5-minute chart is most likely going to break upwards. As soon as we... one more, 5 more minutes, guys. That's, that's when... like one more candle... And there's a good chance that we're going to break upwards. 15-minute formed right there. That's a pretty good bullish candle on a very short time frame. Okay. 30 minutes about to form this candle as well. That's a doji. 45-minute. Very bearish candle still on the 45-minute. On the 1-hour, very bullish. But it's still got 3 quarters of the way to go. On the 2-hour, so much time to go. 3 hours, so much time. 4 hours, nothing. Daily chart is now looking... Um, pretty bearish. Well, actually bullish, but um, it's going to look pretty bearish by the end of the day. By the end of tomorrow, rather, it's going to look bearish. So I went on a bounce here. Let's see how this plays out. The one hour crossed over. Lots of bearish signs right now. Lots of bearish signs, okay? I'm only going in for a very short-term bounce. You guys need to really understand that, okay? Yeah, nothing is happening yet here. Okay, there we go. We got a tick upwards to the histogram. Give us a few more higher ticks and we'll be very, very happy. All right. Still at 15 or sorry, 14.3. Nothing happening too much yet here. Just got to wait. Let's see how this plays out. This is going to be a decisive move soon. I'm literally at the break-even price right now. So whether it goes up or down, let's see how this goes. I got a pretty decent risk to reward. I hope it gets to 14755. Uh, 14, if it does get to 775, I'll be 45 cents up on each one. That's going to be a $900 profit. It's going to be like a two and a half. How much percent gain is that? 3.2% 3, 3 gain if it actually gets there. Nice. We're up ticking right now. See? We bought out the 302 range. So there's not many people selling right now. Looks like a lot of people are wanting to buy. People are stepping in, though, to get orders filled. Nice. Big order right there. See? Bought in one second. Same second. At 5.19.38. It's there. He bought 900 something. 
that more people are buying right there. You can tell if the orders are executing within the same second. Some people are buying small amounts. Some bots are buying small amounts. Now I'm taking to 317 ranges, right? It seems like we're going to break through 317 soon. There we go. We're at 324 now. Looking pretty good. It's going, it looks like there's going to be a spike upwards very, very soon, to be honest. Five minute chart, they didn't do anything. You guys take a look at this, okay? 1026, you only see one little histogram tick up there. But look at this 1026 as well. 1026. But look on the five minute chart, you see three ticks up there already. One, two, three, four. Misleading sometimes, right? You gotta be very careful with what you're looking at, guys. I trust TradingView, even though they're powered by TradingView, and you see the signal right there, right? Charts by TradingView. Yeah. So here, we're still seeing green across the board, right? Maybe there's too much liquidity right now. Maybe the demand is high, but, you know, there's too much supply. And if there's too much supply, we're going to have a hard time getting up there sometimes, right? When you think of it from that perspective. The demand needs to be high, but the supply really low, which will drive up the price of it right now. So maybe because it's too liquid, there's way too much in the order books right now, right? So it's not always about volume, right? Sometimes low volume with high demand, right? But, but with super low supply, it can steadily drive up the market as well. So on the five minute chart on Bitfinex, we see a big spike up there on the histogram. Right, but we don't see a big spike up like that here on this one. So you guys see one bar up there, but you see on here, you see two, one, you see how many bars? Three bars already, right? Yeah, three bars. So you guys see my theory is coming true. There, we're at 14.4 already. So I'm already up quite a bit, a big amount. There we go. Just want to go to 56 there. I'll be up for another $500 trade. Right, it's gonna go there. <laughs> so confident, you guys. It's gonna go to this one, right? This one is the one it's gonna get to. There we go. Forty six three already. Forty seven, right? Actually I just want like a four hundred dollar profit and I'm good. Maybe five. Yeah, sure. I'll take my profit here. There we go. I'm going to take my profit right around here, guys. No, no, not yet. They're still spiking it up like crazy. Right. There's a there's not that many until it reaches my orders. Yeah. I think it's just going to spike up soon. <laughs> there's a lot of people buying here right here, okay? Yeah, there's a lot of people buying, but there we go. Like, people are pressuring it. They're just hammering at the wall at the 14.5, right? See what I mean? 14.5 is just getting hammered at right now. I just want, like, a $400 profit, but it seems like it's having a lot of tough times right now, breaking through that, right? Even though we're not really at a, a, a FIB level even, okay? I, I want to take my profit here because I'm sensing that we're having a lot of trouble of breaking through here. So here we go. I put mine up there now. This should be a, still a $380 profit. There we go. Oh, it completely spiked upwards. Yes, guys. $380 a profit. What am I at today, guys? What am I at? All right, guys. That was a really successful EOS trade. I scalped another bounce. So today I'm up a pretty good amount. I'm up 1400 plus another 500 plus another like 450 plus this one here, 390 bucks. So today I'm up $2,700. And this was my last trade that I took. And this trade here took 20 minutes only. The reason I took the trade was um, very simple because it was getting strength, right?
and we were most likely going to bounce off of there to hit a reasonable FIB level at around 57 and that's exactly what we did. So cheers to a $386 profit right here.